Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm Andalusia in Spain. Here we know nothing, except that we enjoy being here, we enjoy what we're doing, we have plans, a lot of strange things happen. So here we have the drip line and every second day it is chewed up by some rodents just in this one spot. I now carry a piece of tube with me and uh, when I, whenever I water, irrigate, I have to replace this. What is it I don't understand? Okay, we just do it. Another amazing thing is, this time of the year, the land gives birth to stones. Um, I have picked up all the stones in the walkways and suddenly there are many more. And it is as if they get loose and then obviously with the walking they move. And then once the rain appears then they get absorbed again obviously you can still see them but uh, they are inside the soil not outside here on this small swale one dead plant two dead plants one rosemary one polovnia 10 centimeters high, the others are 2 meters and more. And then some more dead plants and the dead polofnia, dead plants, small one, rosemary. Why? This is actually a place where I have put in trees three times. The same drip line carries on and the trees are growing. So there is water. Yeah, we are slow to understand things, but it doesn't change our perception of what we do here, how privileged we are to share this land, here five meters away same drip line it looks very different but two polovnias next to each other one that size and one this size help i don't understand one day when i'm big i will have some idea but right now, there is no understanding coming forward. Soon we will have prickly pears to eat. The temperature has dropped about 10 degrees from an average high of 40 to 30. And now the things are growing again. We have two dormant seasons in the middle of winter, in the middle of summer, things just pause, they don't grow, and now they start again. Avocado, no leaf, but green, it will now start growing again. Several trees died, it's not the drought, it's the heat. Kaki prune is gone. 
other prunes starts to grow again. Quince lost most of the leaves and now they start having leaves again. They should have leaves because they have to ripen the fruit. Almost all the leaves of the apricot gone, but soon it will grow again. Cape gooseberry lost most, most of its leaves and now suddenly some new growth. At least we are in peace with this. Third time we observe this. Nature is quite impressive. This moringa has almost no leaves, but it ensures that it produces a seed, seed pot. This quince is a little bit in the shade here, and it looks much better. Same with this apricot. These are some logs, from poles from eucalyptus. They fell off the trucks that transport them from the forest here to Portugal for paper pulp. So I pick them up and I bring them here. This is another area. Most of these trees are dead. Again, third time I have planted trees here. And even the ones that did survive, one here is now dying. We don't understand much. Life is good. Beautiful day, much cooler. We can work a lot. Till next time. Goodbye.